Suppose you come across this research study. In this study, they were trying to help college kids go to grad school, and what they did was an experiment where half the kids were control, where they did nothing with them, and the other half, they gave them a mentorship program. And the study reports that the mentorship program led to a 90% increase in grad school enrollment. So what do we make of this? How do we interpret this? Well, let's say that, you know, a lot of people might look at this and think, all right, man, 90% increase. So by the end, it seems like almost everyone is going to grad school who got the mentorship program. And then when you crack open the study and look into the details, they say that the control group, in the end, 10% of the control group enrolled in grad school, whereas in the treatment group, 19% enrolled in grad school. And you're thinking, man, that's kind of false advertising. I mean, you know, to say a 90% increase, but this changes like, you know, that doesn't look like 90%, right? So in this video, I'm going to explain to you, uh, first of all, just basics of what a percentage change is, and then also the concept of percentage point. And then by the end, we'll make sense of this because the researchers here weren't lying, but it's certainly a little bit deceptive if you don't fully understand the difference between percent and percentage point. So first of all, how do you calculate the percent change in anything? Let's say the price of gas is $4 this month, and then later on next month, you find that it's $5, and you want to calculate the percent change. The formula you'd use to calculate that percent change is that the percent change is the new price minus the old. So really just the difference divided by the old price. So the difference over the original. That's how you could think about the percent change in anything. And so basically here, the new minus the old, the five minus four is the numerator. That's the actual change, $1, divided by the old price, which was just $4. And so really here, the, the percentage change, that formula is 1 over 4, which if you use a calculator to do 1 divided by 4, you'll get 0 0.25. Now, 0 0.25 is, the, uh, is what we get here. That's a 25% change because here's the thing about that percent symbol. This is actually a number, and that number is 0 0.01. And so anytime you have something like 3%, 3% to a calculator, this is actually a number, and that number is 3 times 0 0.01, which is 0 0.03. So one skill to have is to always being able to go back and forth between a number written as a decimal versus the percentage version of that number. So long story short, when you do 1 over 4, the difference over the original, you get 0.25, which is 25%. A little trick is that once you have that decimal, all you have to do with the 0 0.25 is to move that decimal over by two spaces. So if you move that decimal over by two spaces, it's now after the five. So overall, this is 25.0, right? So this is 25%. So, so really just like the two uh, digits right after the decimal, that's the percent change. So 0 0.03, again, if you move this decimal over by two, the decimal is now after this three, so overall that's 3%. Let's look at another quick example. Let's say the price of a shirt is $50 and it eventually goes to $60 and you wanna describe that percent change in price, you would simply look at the difference over the original. So 60 minus 50, which is 10, divided by the original of 50. On your calculator, 10 divided by 50 is 0.2. And so to turn that into a percent, just move this decimal over by two spaces and you get 20%, Point 0.2 is 20%. And so that's how we describe this price change, 20%. The cool thing about this is it's universal, right? If you just say something went up by, if you just look at the raw difference, the $10 increase in price, a $10 increase, I mean, is it big or small? Depends. Are you talking about the price of a pencil or the price of a house, right? But 20% kind of means the same thing uh, no matter what the context is. So that's why percent change is a useful concept. But let me ask you this. What if instead of the price of a shirt going from 50 to 60, what if the thing that itself was changing was measured as a percent? What if I told you that in one year, the percentage of the people who voted was 50%, but then the next year, it was 60%, and you want to look at the change in the vote. Now, here's where we're going to introduce a new vocab word called percentage point. If you want to look at just the raw difference between two percents, 
the same way we look at the raw difference between the 50 and $60 being $10, the raw difference between 2% is the percentage point. So one way to describe this change from 50 to 60 is that this is a 10 percentage point increase. So you could describe this as a 10 percentage point increase, not a 10% increase. Just like we describe this as a $10 increase or a 20% increase. Similarly, here we could describe this as a 10 percentage point increase or a 20% increase. Why? Because imagine if instead of percentage, this was dollars, the math would still be 60 minus 50 over 50. It would still be 10 over 50, which is 0.2, which is 20%. And so overall, you still have 20% as a way to measure, as a way to, to describe this change. So again, this any percent changing can be described either using just the raw difference, which is percentage point, or the percent change, which is calculated the same way you would if it was any other unit other than percent. So now let's go back to the original example. In the original example, we had 10% um, of the control group attending grad school and 19% of the treatment group attending grad school. A correct way to describe this change is that there's a nine percentage point increase in the grad school enrollment. Another correct way to describe this is if we calculate the actual percent change, 19 minus 10 over 10, which would be nine over 10, which is 0 0.90, that is in fact 90%. So it's not incorrect to say that this is a 90% increase in the grad school enrollment rate, but it's certainly not a 90 percentage point increase. It's not like it went from 10 up to 100%. That'd be a 90 percentage point increase. So this is a 9%, 9 percentage point or 90% increase.